nursery. Dolls are the toys of choice for children of all ages. But in United Artists' suspense thriller, Child's Play, that choice may be this child's last. I know you'll get me one. Show me how he works, okay? Hi, I'm Andy. What's your name? Hi, I'm Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. <laughs> wow, he's something, isn't he? He sure is. He's something more than the battery-powered doll that he appears to be. He's something evil. Andy, look! Now, you don't really think that Chucky is alive, do you? But he is. Andy, stop it! There's something about dolls and dolls coming alive that's a common fear that everybody understands because they they felt it as children or they they you know, they've turned off the lights in, in, in a darkened child's room and all of a sudden very benevolent toys take on a frightening aspect. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? When I was a kid, I was scared to death of my sister's dolls. To me, it, it was the eyes. They just constantly stare and they seem to know all. I think that people find the idea of a doll that comes to life uh, something that obviously harkens back to me to childhood. That there's nothing so horrible as what the imagination creates. Uh, I went in today and watched a particular scene in which the doll attacked somebody, and um, I suddenly realized what this picture is going to be like. It's going to be scarier than hell. Oh! Scary because this doll is the state of the art. The brainchild of wunderkind creature maker, Kevin Yeager. Okay. Chucky's designer was the first role cast by Chucky's creator, producer David Kirshner. Kevin was a lucky guess, um, although Rick Baker, who was pretty much the top of, of the group of, of those guys, uh, said that this is the one, this is the kid to watch, this is the one who in the next five years will be the superstar. And based on what we've seen here, it's absolutely true. Once Kirshner decided upon Jaeger, the next step was developing the right look for Chucky. We sat down and we spoke, and he sketched, and I sketched, and he seemed to have an understanding of what the character should be and how it should come to life. I get you wet? Yeah. How about a sneeze? I like that. Ready? Ready? Huh? 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 Sleepy. Gesundheit. Nine different animatronic dolls were designed, including the flailing Chucky, the demonstrative standing Chucky, and the walking Chucky. This, these are the most uh, intricate of all the puppets. There's so many instances where the, the doll has to walk completely on its own without any kind of limited movement in, in how many steps it takes. This thing can take up to probably about 10 feet uh, within different shots. But in every case, the key to Chucky's personality was the design of his face and head. The eyes uh, do exactly what uh, our eyes do. And with the lids, uh, we, can bring, we can bring his brows down in the middle. Or, you know, all up, uh, a real sad sort of look. This is the most uh, intricate head. Uh, we put a test skin on it for now, just to have some nope. flesh tone on it. Uh, hey man. Man. So we could practice with it. It's probably one of the most difficult things because Steve's got to coordinate nah, jaw nah. movement with lip movement to get him to pronounce A E I O U and -E all the vowels. And... E I O U. Give me the power, I beg of you! In addition to the puppeteer working the mouth, an articulated Chucky can require up to eight more puppeteers. Yeah, 
probably, the, as far as I know, the most sophisticated puppet movie ever done. I mean, you really believe Chucky is alive sometimes. He's a million dollar actor, this, this doll. And it's, uh, it's amazing. One would think that it would fall apart constantly, and it hasn't come apart once in this film, which is better than the rest of us. Say goodbye, Chucky. It's been fun, but I gotta go. And you have a date with death. Oh!